that such an event will not repeat itself anywhere in the world. And I do hope that all without paying attention to, uh, to the personal preferences, they come to condemn such events. Ahmadi Nejad expressed his condolences over the death of Press TV correspondent Maya Nasser. The Iranian president called on everyone to respect the sanctity of reporters. He said reporting is a very important tool which sheds light on truths and informs the international community about world events. Ahmadi Nejad's comments follow the killing of the 33-year-old journalist by a sniper in Damascus. Press TV and Al Alam Ch bureau chief Hossein Mortaza was also injured in the targeted attack. The two came under fire while reporting on Wednesday's twin blasts in the Syrian capital. While the body of assassinated press TV correspondent Maya Nasser is being transferred from a military hospital in the Syrian capital, Damascus, to the city of Homs, where his family lives, our other correspondent in Damascus, Muhammad Ali, tells us more about the planned ceremony and about Maya's death. Maya Nasser was killed <clears throat> yesterday while he was reporting on the events in Syria, particularly the explosions that targeted the military headquarters and command in Damascus near al Umayyin uh, Square. What I can tell you is that uh, Maya Nasser at that uh, time was only concerned about giving uh, the truth and conveying the truth of what is happening on ground. He called me, he told me, please send to press TV newsroom that there, is, there are clashes going on. Uh, he couldn't uh, make a telephone call. And Maya reported in various areas of tension and clashes where clashes have been taking place, particularly in Damascus countryside and Aleppo. His reports always shed light on uh, the killings committed by the foreign-backed armed men against the civilians, their acts, such as using those civilians as human shields, forcing them out of their homes. So actually, as I said, his weapon is only his words, his microphone and his camera. But this actually affected and annoyed those uh, armed men and the foreign-backed armed men and the countries that are actually supporting them and funding them, giving them money, giving them all the possibilities and all the tools to, to kill the people over here to continue their crimes. I think uh, that uh, all journalists around the world are actually proud of him. His family uh, are proud of them. All uh, his friends and team over here at Press TV office are proud of him because he uh, actually, uh, he respected the principles of uh, journalism and media and he always said that he will continue his work no matter what in order to tell the whole world what is happening in his country, Syria. For more on that story, we're now joined by Bassam Rintar, editor of Al-Akhbar newspaper, who's with us by satellite from the Lebanese capital, Beirut. Mr. Rintar, welcome to the program. In your views, who is responsible for the killings of journalists in Syria, and in this specific case, the killing of press TV correspondent Maya Nasser? Well, the assassination of, uh, of Maya Nasser is, uh, is a crime that was planned and committed by the rebels uh, that they have or already uh, uh, expressed a lot of live threats to the uh, press uh, TV journalist. So it's not an accident. Uh, it is something that it's already planned for. And they were knowing before shutting him that he is a journalist and he's covering uh, the event and he is not a, 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 a person that they the, the, from the uh, uh, mil military side. So uh, it, uh, it is very well now uh, uh, considered that the, such a crime is uh, uh, condemned by all the journalists around the world, but we want to hear uh, a, a higher voices from the uh, 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 Western uh, journalists that they were really shouting when there was a ju uh, Western journalist killed in Syria, and now we are not hearing very well their voices. Uh, we need to, uh, to, to, to raise all our voices against such a crime and also uh, 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 we ask for uh, the uh, committee for the protection of journalists also to uh, 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 report such a crime and also uh, for the human rights council and especially uh, the uh, uh, human rights experts that they are now reporting about Syria in order to consider such a crime and such a crime uh, against uh, journalists uh, uh, against and also uh, it's uh, for sure it's not the first one but it is really the most clear crime against journalists that it was uh, directly uh, 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 done uh, by the rebels in Damascus. Well along the lines of your answer Mr. Rintar, what uh, can and must be done to uh, pursue crimes committed against international jur journalists and correspondents uh, on an international level? 
uh, well, well, actually, uh, uh, this is a matter related uh, for uh, uh, Press TV as, as an association and also for his family. Uh, they have the right. And I think they must uh, uh, go forward in, in uh, uh, suing every uh, uh, government agency or persons responsible about this crime. And when we are speaking about governments, let us make it very clear, the governments that they are now funding the militias in Syria uh, and they are giving them weapons and they are uh, uh, aiding them with the, uh, with the bullets and the weapons and they are smuggling for them money and weapons in order to kill their own people. Uh, Killing of uh, of uh, Maya is uh, is a is a single crime among thousands of crimes that uh, are committed by the uh, rebels around Syrian regions. Uh, it is not the first killing of a journalist, but I, as I have said, it is the most clear crime against a journalist in Syria since the beginning of the. Uh, 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 of the uh, uh, since the uh, rebels' direct actions against the Syrian army uh, in Syria. From the Lebanese capital, Beirut, editor of Al-Akhbar newspaper, Mr. Bassam Rintar. Sir, thank you for sharing your thoughts with us here on Press TV.